Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing to show with you guys. I, I have absolutely no idea what's in here. I don't even know who sent this because there's no name on the front of it. Uh, we're gonna find out together. If it's something I can link, I will definitely link it right down below. I appreciate it when you guys use my links. It definitely helps the channel, but that's up to you. Thanks to my generous patrons who are supporting me. There's a link for Patreon down below as well. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Okay. It's a weird box. Um, how about like that? Does that make sense? You're not supposed to open it like that. I'm not? Oops. <laughs> okay, we have, oh, a send cut. One, just one. Oh, there's a note. I was like, come on, truly there's a note in here. Uh, all right, here we go. Uh, the blade steel is printed on the side of the flipper and it's a little hard to find. <laughs> I'm new to this knife world and your videos are very helpful. Uh, that's from Josiah. Hey, I'm glad. I'm, I'm, uh, it's always makes me happy to see people who are new to the knife world find uh, enjoyment in my content. So that's really awesome. Make sure you guys uh, give them a follow at uh, S-I-A-H-P-A-G-E-904 on Instagram. It's because of people like him that I'm able to bring you guys daily knife content. So this is this, I haven't looked at, if you guys don't know, Sencat is like with Civivi and We. They're just not really the front line, right? So that it kind of goes Sencat and then like some knives from Civivi's line are about the same quality as Sencut, some knives are substantially higher quality, and then we is like way up in the more expensive territory. Uh, this will undoubtedly be available, and I will link it right down below, like I said. The, what is it called? The Bront or Bronte or Bronte? I honestly don't know. Uh, yeah, these are made in China. They're super inexpensive. All right, it's just been a while since I've highlighted a Sencut. Yeah, interesting. Okay, so... We have a front flipper. God, it just feels exactly like a Civivi. <laughs> I'm still confused as to why they separated the brands other than, you know, maybe a strategic opportunity to create a larger profit margin with Civivi. But that's not necessarily factually true. I'm just kind of like, hmm, you know. <laughs> they definitely don't use the same materials, right? I mean, this just feels like a... It just feels like a Civivi. Uh, he said the steel was on the side of the flipper tab. 8CR or 9CR, 18 MOV. Okay. So that's fine. I have no problem with 9CR, 18 MOV. That's what's on the Civivi Praxis. I'm going to guess this runs somewhere between $45 and $50. I have no idea. It just is has that $45 to $50 dollar kind of Civivi feel to it. Pretty cool. Um, it's less of a cleaver and more of a, what do we call this, huh? We call this a, a worn clip, <laughs> a clip cliff, hmm? I'm joking because everybody and their grandma and their grandma's dog will jump in to tell me that it's a modified sheep's tanto clip cliff, uh, Sioux style. Okay, um, so we have this style of blade with a nice fuller in it. You can use the fuller to do the reverse flick, which is nice. Uh, and then you can use the front flipper slash, is it a top flipper as well? It is, you can top flip it too. Um, if you have seasoned fingers, can you see how muscular my index finger is? It's from aggressively top, I'm totally kidding. <laughs> I feel like I have to say that just in case someone's like, I can't tell. I can't tell exactly where the muscle is on his index finger. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, okay, pretty cool. Uh, straight micarta handle, nothing really in the way of ergonomics. The exact same pocket clip that we see on every Civivi knife, which is okay. Wish that it wasn't like this. Boop. Uh, just less of a goose bill. An angry honking goose. Uh, but yeah, it actually looks really nice, real straightforward. Pretty utilitarian design, right? This does stick up quite a bit. I mean, 
you know, height-wise, it looks pretty aggressive, but it's really not all that crazy. I mean, if you put it right here in the hump on the PM2, it's not sticking up any, you know, anywhere near as high as the hump on the PM2, so no big deal. Action feels identical to a Civivi. The centering is ever so slightly off. I'm going to give that a pass since this is not a brand new knife and I can probably adjust it. We're looking at T8, T8, probably T6 for the pocket clip screws. Okay. Do we have garage stops? That's kind of neat. Yeah. Ooh, okay. It's not real. I mean, like they're just, they're just lower than the frame and I'm sorry, they're lower than the scales and there's little, you know, there's a space in there. The uh, steel frame doesn't go up high enough. It just, they, they, it's works the same way as external stops. They're just not external. They're hidden underneath the scales. This is kind of neat. Um, yeah, I just wanted to, you know, I looked through, Sen I just hadn't looked at anything from Sencut for a while. So I looked through uh, to see what was available. And I was like, this looks all right. You know, maybe somebody's got one. And, you know, sure enough, somebody had one. So thank you so much for lending it to me. Like I said, I'll link it down below. Give me a couple of weeks and I'll have a video up for you. Not that it would actually take a couple of weeks to film a review on this, but there are other things in line. Um, anyways, I think that's going to be pretty much it today. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.